Even in death, photojournalist Ruben Espinosa takes his camera with him, just as he did while working in the state of Veracruz, where he was threatened and harassed, and then in Mexico City, where he fled to. It's hard to do journalism or even live in Veracruz. Anyone who criticizes the bad government of Javier Duarte is attacked. I had to leave because of the violence that all journalists experience there. And while I've been here, they've killed the 13th journalist in the state. He became the 14th when he was tortured and then shot in a Mexico City apartment, along with four other people on Friday. Fellow journalists gathered in Mexico's main avenue to mourn and denounce his death. Protesters, many of them journalists, are still here to try and show their anger really over what happened with Ruben Espinosa, their colleague. But there's also a real sense of fear. Mexico City is meant to be a safe haven for journalists under threat in other parts of the country. And that's really been shaken by what happened. They know that what's happened to Ruben Espinosa could happen to any of them. Mexico is the most dangerous country in Latin America for journalists. When they confirmed his death, it made me very afraid. Killing him for me was a message. Them saying, even if you run away, we'll find you, and we'll do the same thing we did to Ruben. Veracruz Governor Javier Duarte's administration may be particularly repressive, but all over the country it's local authorities, rather than organised crime, that are the biggest danger to journalists, according to a prominent human rights group. Threats against journalists come, especially from the government. This is something that we have documented for the last uh, five, five, uh, five years. Uh, it is uh, well spread over the whole country, not only in the, in the northern region, so pretty much in, in every single state, you'll find a case of a killed journalist or a kidnapped journalist. Very few of those crimes have been solved. Now there's another one on the desks of the very authorities that many Mexican journalists have come to fear and mistrust. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.